I'm Emily with Lake Light, and today I'm going to be showing installation of the solar piling down light. The first thing you'll want to do is turn it over and remove the cover to plug in the battery. Once you have the screws out, simply remove the back cover. You'll notice there's a silicone pad. The battery is inside, but it is not connected. Align the notches, press firmly together, and screw over the plastic cap to ensure that it's waterproof. Then you can tuck the battery back inside. You will notice inside there's a black button. This controls the brightness setting. You can choose the power level now, or you can wait until after it is mounted on the piling by using a magnet switch to control the brightness level. Now that you've connected your battery and tucked the wire inside, it's time to replace the cover. You'll start with the silicone pad and align it over the screw holes. Next, you'll take the metal plate and you'll notice some beveled edges. Those edges are upward, and you'll also align it over the screw holes. Once your cover is in place, it's time to put your screws in. It's important to go in the reverse order first until you hear a pop. This is to help catch the threads. Then you'll start to put your screw in. You'll want to put all screws in before tightening it down. Now work your way around to tighten them all. Now it's time to decide where you want the light mounted on the piling. You'll notice that the light comes with one meter of wire. The higher you mount the light on the piling, the wider the light pattern will be on the dot. The lower the light, the smaller the light pattern will be. For this video, we are going to show mounting it higher on the piling for a wider illuminated area on the dock. Once you've decided where you want your light on the piling, mark the holes with a pen. Now it's time to drill your pilot holes. Next, use your provided screws and secure your light to the piling. Now it's time to connect our light to the power unit. You'll align the notches and press it firmly together and then screw over the plastic cover to make sure it's waterproof. Once you have it screwed tightly, you'll take the excess cord and wrap it around the inside of the power unit. Once you have the cord fully wrapped, you'll notice there's a small knot on the power unit. That's for the cord to exit. Center the power unit on the piling, and again, mark your holes. Now it's time to drill some holes. Next, use the provided screws to mount the power unit to the pilot. Now that we've finished installation of the solar piling down light, you'll notice included in your kit there's a small magnet. This is what you'll use after nightfall to turn your light on and control the brightness level. Simply take your magnet and sweep it over the power unit. 
This completes installation of the solar piling down light. I'm Emily with Lake Light. Thanks for watching.